Welcome to today's Yu-Gi-Oh! discussion video, where we are going to be discussing this card, Lightning Chidori. Lightning Chidori is a rank 4 Xyz monster. It is winter attribute, uh, with 1900 attack, uh, 1600 defense, it's a thunder type, and to summon it you require two level 4 wind monsters. Um, it's a restriction, so yes, it's not generic, but somewhat understandable because it is a very useful card. Its effect is as follows. If this card is XC summoned, target one set card your opponent controls. Return that target to the bottom of the deck. Once per turn, you can detach one XC's material from this card, then target a face-up card the opponent controls and return that target to the top of the deck. Now, if you summon this card, first of all you get rid of a set card. Generally that would be a trap, like a supposed trap, maybe if, like a Book of Moon, Mystical Space Typhoon, Twin Twisters, but either way, a set card like you feel is dangerous to you. You want to get rid of it. And it's also to the bottom of the deck, so unless they have a searcher for it, or whatever else shuffles the deck, it will take a while before they draw into that again. So that's just for safety, I suppose. Um, but it can also be used as set monsters, because it doesn't specify a set spell or trap card. It's a set card. So it can be a set field spell, not that you'll see that a lot, but also a set monster on the field. You could, I suppose, combo this with Book of Moon to just get that to happen, but eh, it's just up to you how you use Lightning Chidori. Um, it's the other effect that's also quite useful. You can detach an Xyz material from this card. The first effect doesn't need that, because uh, it's only a trigger effect upon the Xyz summon. Uh, with the second effect, you can detach an Xyz material from this card once per turn. It's an ignition effect. Target a face-up card the opponent controls, and return that target to the top of the deck. Once again, this doesn't specify spell, trap, monster, or anything like that. So you can take one, their uh, Fire Formation Tenki, you can take their uh, Field Spell, is it Spellbook of Tower, you can take a face up monster that they have because Cosmo Slip Rider is in the way, uh, because that one actually can be targeted by card effects. I do realize that higher ones uh, don't accept the level 6. I think it's 7 plus that can be targeted. Anyway, it can get rid of annoying monsters that way. Uh, as I said, field spells, pendulum scales you can get rid of. Um, it's uh, This is a nice way to get rid of Silent Thunder Arc, because this isn't destruction. Uh, so Silent Thunder Arc is just gone. Although with Silent Thunder Arc, it does just go back to the extra deck instead of into the main deck. So it, it can quite easily be summoned again. So do be wary of that if you return Xyz monsters. But it's still a very useful card to get rid of like opponent really annoying cards the opponent has that are in the way. Let's say you're using this in a deck that really relies on graveyard effects, and that like, graveyard monster effects, and I believe it's Soul Drain that stops that. The opponent has it face up. You can summon Lightning Chidori, use its second effect to put um, Soul Drain away. However, the face up card that goes away goes to the top of the deck. So in the case of getting rid of a Soul Drain, you know that very likely the opponent will draw it again next turn, so that the turn after you summon some Lightning Chidori, the opponent can just be like, flip face up, Soul Drain's back on the field. Sure, it'll cost him another thousand life points, but it'll be back. Um, so what could be quite annoying for the opponent to return is a monster that is difficult to bring out, like a Judgment Dragon. Like, it, you can get rid of it just to get rid of the monster that with 3,000 3, attack, but if you can't finish it off, that turn is an easy summon back. Um, a monster that would require tribute summons or a difficult procedure uh, to summon would be helpful. In Monarchs, like, there's definitely ways around it, but those are uh, cards you could uh, try and get rid of. Now, what decks would you use Lightning Chidori in? Because, as I said, it requires two level 4 wind monsters. It is not generic. Um, I was thinking, and Heraldic Beasts, I don't think they're, pretty sure they're not all wind, but some of them are anyway. Like, um, Abercombe right here, uh, is it Twin Eagle? <clears throat> was it Bernard's Falcon, I believe, is wind? So, you could, um, use Lightning Vortex in a Heraldic Beast deck. And also, if you use Advanced Heraldry Art, the XC summon you make is possible to be Lightning Chidori if you summon to... Uh, I keep losing track. If you summon to Wind Monsters from the Graveyard, so your Abra Conway and the Baroness Falcon, like uh, in this artwork. You can summon your Lightning Chidori, sure, you can just XC like, summon something else as well, your Utopia, your number 8, your whatever you want, but Lightning Chidori is another option. Um, a different option is through Rescue Rabbit. 
Any deck that runs Rescue Rabbit that has normal wind monsters could make use of it. Rescue Rabbit is most known for dinos, so with Cabazols and Sabersaurus to summon Evil Soul, Laggy, and Dolka, but if you happen to have a deck that uses something like Lesser Dragon, quite, it's high attack, 1900 attack, season 100 defense, very nice level for normal monster. It's a wind monster, so it can be used in combination with Lightning Tudori. Now, is it, it's not Neobug, it's something else. Is it Corrosion Coin? No, no, that's, uh, I'm, I'm thinking wrong. Anyway, uh, Next is a Harpy Channeler. If you're running a Harpy deck, Harpies are wind attribute, and Harpy Channeler can quite easily summon a new Harpy monster from the deck by just discarding another Harpy card. You summon it in defense position. Sure, you could summon your Harpy Spet Dragon, make Channel level 7, then make Big Eye or Dracosack, or whatever. Um, but you could also just summon another Harpy, your Cyber Harpy Lady, the Harpy's Dancer, whatever it's called. I haven't played Harpies at all, so I, I'm not actually sure, to be honest. And then Overlay Channeler, and that Cyber Harpy Lady, for example, to make your Lightning Chidori. Um, another option, Yosenju. I use Yosenju quite a lot. It's one of my favorite decks. And even though Yosenju don't often XE summon, like maybe one in three, one in four games, they will actually perform an XE summon. Um, like, I do have an extra deck full of XE monsters that could be summoned. If only a few of them are barely ever summoned, but Lightning Chidori is one of them. Lightning Chidori, Arachne Zero, barely ever, but I can see why that would stay. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, and the, uh, the, the Fire Fist, Tiger King, sometimes, um, G -G -G Cowboy, definite keep at two. But Lightning Chidori is the other one that I do sometimes uh, go into, one of the more regular ones. Because it can get rid of an annoying set card, it can also get rid of an annoying face-up card, sometimes I only need one. One of the two can be the set card, can be the face-up card, but Chidori does help in Yosenju as well. Um, I think, I believe, like, no, no, different. If you have a deck that runs level 4 monsters that are wind, so your Geo sent you, your Harpies, your Heraldic Beasts, then I see Lightning Chidori as an almost certain card in the extra deck. <coughs> so, assume, just imagine that Lightning Chidori would just be a generic rank 4 monster. Same stats, the only thing different is its summon requirement being two level 4 monsters as opposed to two level 4 wind monsters. If it would be generic, then I feel that every it would be a, a card that's run by every deck, because it can get rid of set cards, it can get rid of face-up cards quite easily. Sure, it can be stopped by your Solemn Strike and your Warning and your Effect V, la 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 but a lot of Xyz monsters can. Uh, Lightning Story does allow you to open up plays by getting rid of cards that block you, like Imperial Iron Wall. It can get rid of opponent's monsters that are just in the way of your, your the OTK. It doesn't even need to be an OTK, but just you finishing the opponent off, uh, such as a Judgment Dragon. But once again, if you get rid of Judgment Dragon, make sure you either shuffle their deck, or you just OTK them that turn, because otherwise Judgment Dragon is coming back next turn. Um, do you run a deck with Lightning Chidori? If so, how often do you summon it? And imagine if, as I said just before, if Lightning Shidori were a generic Xyz monster, just two level 4 monsters as opposed to two level 4 wind monsters, would you run it in every deck? Name a few decks that you run that do have level 4s. Um, if Lightning Shidori were a regular Xyz monster with generic, generic summon requirements, would you run it in that deck? Please let me know. Let me know of any other strategies or tips that I may have missed in Lightning Shidori. Um, and I will see you in the next video.